B2B high ticket dropshipping explained. Welcome to the channel, everybody. My name is Brooke Hinnink and I'm an e-commerce entrepreneur located in Dubai. I'm originally from Canada. Today, we're going to be discussing high ticket dropshipping in B2B. We're going to go over a number of different components of B2B dropshipping, including different niches to consider, why do B2B, as well as using ChatGBT for product ideation and offer crafting, as well as your outreach process and how you're actually going to contact businesses. So give away tons of free value on my channel. Um, please hit subscribe below, like this video. If you have any questions or comments on anything that I cover today, don't be shy, put them in the comments and I will uh, do my best to respond to all. So without further ado, let's dive right into B2B high ticket e-com or B2B high ticket dropshipping explained. So first of all is niches. When you're selling B2B products, obviously you want to be targeting um, certain niches with businesses that are going to want higher priced items that you can sell to. So just some ideas for you, you could have restaurants where you'd have things like commercial freezers, um, <clears throat> pizza ovens, even restaurant seating tables, fryers, all sorts of different things for restaurants. Fitness, you have like gyms, so dumbbells, barbells, fitness equipment. Um, scientific equipment, schools will need like desks and projectors and TVs and um, conference equipment, all sorts of things like that. Hospitals will need hospital beds, all the different equipment inside of hospitals, signages and displays. So like a McDonald's, like the POS system that you can check out yourself on, cash registers, seating again, all sorts of drive-through stuff, microphones, all sorts of different stuff for signages and displays. Festivals, you have like porta potties, those like pop-up drink stands. You have the, uh, obviously the speakers, but also like the stage that goes around it. All sorts of different things for festivals, marine equipment, so like scuba diving gear and landscaping. Obviously you have all sorts of uh, lawn, stuff like that. So um, ChatGPT is an excellent research tool. So you could just be like to it. I am starting to get drop shipping store and I would like to target B2B here is my list of ideas for niches to this point. Oops. So take all that, plug it right into there. Please tell me other businesses that would need a bunch of items over $3,000. And then just see what it says. Construction companies, architecture firms, all sorts of great ideas here. So once you actually have picked one, like let's say I'm doing restaurants, um, you can go, I am starting a high school dropping store in the B to B restaurant niche. Please tell me, tell me 15 to 20 products that cost over $2,500 that a restaurant would need and then see what it says commercial grade ovens walk-in refrigerators espresso machines dishwashers giving me all sorts of great items um so ChatGPT can be great for actually doing your research getting ideas and then getting product ideas within those niches so want to cover quickly why sell B2B. So the first thing is if you're actually starting on a limited advertising budget, B2B can be a huge advantage because with businesses, I know in the US, you can't just email people who aren't on your email list, consumers, but you can email businesses. So um, you can use a tool like I'm gonna show you in a minute and you can email 50,000 businesses with an offer. And that's not illegal. It's not against the spam act to email businesses. So it can be very, very beneficial for you to do that, especially if you're tied on a tight ad budget and you don't have a whole bunch of money to, to spend on ads. You can just rely on uh, B2B outreach and it can be very, very good. And the nice thing is you're not like, let's say if you have 30% land of margin after cost of goods sold and shipping, if you make a sale, you will keep the entire 30% margin as profit because you haven't paid anything in ads. Obviously you're gonna have to pay for the tools you use, but you're not gonna have any advertising costs per se. Um, you can sell very, very expensive products. It's another reason to go B2B. And oftentimes they're gonna be buying more than one. So if you're selling like Stairmasters to a gym, they're probably gonna be buying like five to 10. They're not just gonna be buying one. So you get bulk orders on expensive products. So it wouldn't be uncommon to have like a 50,000 purchase order of a bunch of $5,000 items. I've actually had that with saunas. I think we sold like six or seven saunas to a spa one time. And you have very rich customers. So there's no customer who's more rich than business. So anything they buy usually is going to be a write-off, meaning they don't have to pay tax on it, which is why businesses are much more likely to reinvest into their business. So a lot less cost sensitive than a consumer. So just to go over a review why it's good to sell to businesses, you can do outreach without actually paying for ads. You can sell very expensive products, you can get bulk orders, and you can target 
the richest customers, which are businesses. So I've already showed you how to use ChatGPT for product ideation. So it gave me 20 excellent products that could target to businesses. And the next part is we actually need to, like let's say I'm starting a, a, a B2B restaurant store. The next step after finding my products would be to find restaurants. So I recommend you use a tool called Apollo. What you would do is you go to search and you want to go to industry. restaurants and then you can put in the industry here so you can see here we've got a million emails of people who work at restaurants <laughs> so i would narrow it down probably by united states or wherever you're selling it doesn't matter where you're doesn't really necessarily matter where but you want to go us we still have six hundred and seventeen thousand people at restaurants and then i would narrow it down by job title so i'll go management level owner founder c-suite um head so like head of marketing director or something like that vp and then we've narrowed it down to 60,000 emails. All these people work at restaurants. So now you have the perfect, you can, and then you can export to this thing called find email. So you can download them using Apollo, but it only let you do one page at a time. So 25 at a time, but you can get this tool called find email where you can buy credits and it will actually do it for you. So you could download like 10,000 emails, export them there. And then the next part after that would you upload them to a cold email outreach tool such as instantly. And you can set up a campaign of email. So you can have like email one, email two, email three, email four, email five that will keep following up with them. Thousands of people at once on autopilot. And then when they respond, you can see their message. So even if like you send a thousand emails and, and 20 respond and three are interested, that you email 50,000 people, that's like a whole bunch of customers. So it's, it's really a scale thing. You wanna send as many emails as possible. Um, so target businesses, um, as I showed you, you can ask ChatGPT what type of business would use your product type, or if you already have a store, you can just find out what businesses would use your product type. It's almost like reverse research. So if you were selling saunas, you could see what type of businesses would want your product and then put those into Apollo. Um, another thing you want to do is on Apollo, you want to sort by email verified. So verification status. So that brings us down to 31,000, which is still plenty. And then you'd essentially just wanna, you wanna send them emails. So like if I was doing sauna, notice your key player and company name growth efforts. Like you can plug this into your, your outreach tools such as instantly. I'm not gonna go over how to set up instantly. That's a whole nother video in itself, but you would wanna just, this would be a ver version of email one. And you wanna test, you're gonna have emails one through six, but you wanna test multiple versions of each email against each other and see like what's getting the most replies. What are people responding best to? So email one, you'd say, notice your key player and restaurant names, growth efforts, curious. Are you looking to install um, are you looking for a new commercial freezer at your restaurant? Uh, we, we've all, we've installed them at some other restaurant facilities like yours and the reviews have been fantastic. Send that to like 10,000 people and you're gonna find a couple that are interested. Um, notice you're a key player in restaurants, gross efforts, curious. Are you interested in installing a, a new beverage dispenser or POS machine at the beginning? So you're just gonna send them different offers. This is actually from my paid program, this little module here. So I'm not gonna share too much more on that strategy, we'll save that for the paid customers. But that's the basic idea of it. You wanna then send them a bunch of emails, see what's working, and then uh, optimize what's working over time as you send to more and more businesses. You can also use ChatGPT for offer crafting. So let's say I wanted to sell a commercial grade oven. You can just tell it I am, cool. I am using a cold email outreach tool to send businesses offers on the items above. Please write me a sequence of four cold emails with direct response marketing aimed at selling commercial grade ovens to restaurants. Please provide me the scripts now that I can plug into my tool Are you a neat subject? Are you in need of a new commercial grade event? Hello, restaurant owner. My name is, now we're gonna, and then it will give you <laughs> all the emails. And you can tell it to write multiple versions of email one, multiple versions of email two. You can obviously switch this up as well, but you would then plug this into your email tool and it will actually email the thousands of restaurants on autopilot for you. And you just have to monitor the responses. But in essence, that, that is how you can do high ticket dropshipping for B2B. So you wanna first find a B2B niche 
Then after you find a B2B niche, you want to find all the expensive products within that B2B niche. Um, you can do B2B because it's you can do outreach at mass scale without paying a ton of money. If you sell very expensive products, you can get bulk orders and you're targeting very rich customers, which are businesses. You can use ChatGPT for product ideation as well as crafting your offer. I recommend using Instantly to source your target market's emails. And then you can use a cold email outreach tool like Instantly to mass email them on autopilot. But thank you all um, very much. This is how you do high ticket dropshipping for B2B. If you took any value at all from this video, I really did share a lot of sauce. So if you took any value today, please hit subscribe below, like this video, and put any questions in the comments, and I will do my best to answer any and all of them. Thank you for tuning in, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed today's video on high ticket dropshipping for B2B niches.